The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Should we pray? Also, as I say, a bumpire. And if we have to pray, whom should we pray to? Now, as I say, a bumpire. Why not say a born empire? Today's world does not really appreciate prayer. Say, say we are saying we know young so empire bomu ye. Prayer is one of the most central activities of religious life. Now, we share in your summa brabo empire boy ye de who here can see a pa. Now, the traditionalists will pray by pouring libation. Muslims pray. The Buddhists will pray. Buddha so a The Hindu will pray. Hindu so Religious people pray. Prayer is central to religious activity. Jesus prayed. And he taught us to pray. Na ochre the Apostle Paul encouraged us to pray without ceasing, pray continually. One day when Jesus was praying in Luke chapter 11, this is what the scripture says. Luke chapter 11 verse 1. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of the disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. Just as John taught his disciples. So John prayed. His disciples prayed. Jesus prayed. The disciples said, Teach us to pray. Not teach us how to pray. We want to get involved in the act of prayer. Teach us to pray. He said to them, When you pray, He taught them to pray. Because prayer to him was very important. Jesus prayed in Mark chapter 1 verse 35. The scripture says and I read very early in the morning while it was still dark Jesus got up left the house and went up to a solitary place where he prayed. So he prayed at dawn. Luke chapter 5 verse 15 and 16 Yet the news about him spread all the more. So that crowds of people came to hear him. And to be healed of their sickness. The certain certainly will not be night. It will not be a dawn. But this is what the scripture says. But Jesus withdrew to lonely places and prayed. Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. He says often he will withdraw to lonely places and pray. So he used to pray during the day. And he did that often. Chapter 6 verse 12. Chapter Luke chapter 6 and verse 12. Chapter 6 verse 12. 
One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. So here he prayed all night. He prayed at dawn. He prayed during the day. One day somebody asked him, Rabbi, I want to be your disciple. Says forces have holes. Birds have nests. But the son of man has no place to lay his head. What was he saying? Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. Look at from verse 34. Be careful or your hearts will be weighed down with kerosene. Drunkenness and anxiety of life. And that day will close on you suddenly like a trap. Then listen to this. For it will come on all those who live on the face of the earth. Just as we are experiencing now. Be always on the watch. And pray. That you may be able to escape all that is about to happen. So that he's saying that prayer can always make a difference. And that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. And this is the big one. Each day. Jesus was teaching at the temple. And each evening, he went up to spend the night on the hill called Mount Olives. To do what? The Bible says that then all the people came early in the morning to hear him at the temple. Naturally, nipani na de each day he will be teaching. And each evening he is up on the mountain. Forces have holes. Bears have nests. But the son of man has no place to lay his head. His bedroom was on Mount Olives. Luke chapter 22. From verse 39. Jesus went out as usual. To the, to the Mount of Olives. As usual. It was what he does normally. And his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. Pray. So if the Bible is telling us that when he moves to the Mount Olives, he went there to pray. He withdrew about a stone throw beyond them and knelt down and prayed. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him and being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer, that is a kind of a prayer. He rose from prayer. A kind of a prayer. Praying earnestly. Drops of blood. Angels descending. Angels strengthening. The son of man. If the son of man could pray like this. What about you? A man born of a woman. If the son of God could pray like this. Then what of you? 
When he rose from prayer, he went back to the disciples. He found them asleep. Exalted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? He asked them, get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. There is something about prayer. There is something about prayer. That is why the world attacks prayer so much. Prayer has been variously defined. But the most general definition of prayer is this one. Anyway, it is the communication of a worshiper or a supplicant with his deity or his God. The worshipper and the God. They awesome and awesome. Then there are various types of prayer. There could be a public prayer. There could be a private one. And in other public or private prayer, we tend to do some confession. Thanks and adoration. There is a supplication, intercessory, petitioning prayer. There is a liturgical prayer where we write and people read out the prayer. Of all the types of prayer, that we have mentioned and many more that I wouldn't have wanted to mention. The one that poses a problem to today Today's world. The secular humanist is the supplicatory, intercessory, or the petitioning prayer. Where people make a request from a deity, from a God. Because people don't believe in a God. So when you are requesting, they ask questions like this. Why should people pray? If you are to pray, then to whom? The 80s who ask to whom? The secular humanists will say to whom? Say say we are simu for so people say why na we born empire. The days will say to whom? When I was junior, say nyame wa hon so won for jidi say nyame fa enfa we are si bibi an so people say say why na we born empire. For what must we pray? Then who and necessary born empire? When you can do your own fixing. Ah, who an kasa obetu mi ashe she wa di? Other people also think that. Ebenu msu a junior one say. Prayer is not necessary. Because God already knows what we need. And he will provide. The Bible even says that before we open our mouth, he knows what we are asking. Then why should we pray? We follow, we follow a master who was and is a prayer warrior. Ah, na oye na say say so or that's so ye and pay bo kunini. Even though you is God. When he found himself in this garment of humanity, he prayed and taught us to pray. As we speak. The Bible says that he's at the right hand of God. Still praying for us. There is something about prayer. There is something about prayer. In spite of all this, people think that prayer is an irrational activity. You see, because philosophy deals with the mind. Tries to uncover the truth through reasoning. But religion receives truth from the deity. 
so people who just reason with their mind cannot understand why we are receiving with that question. Now one of the church fathers. Origin. Ah, your friend no origin. From Egypt. There was a great theologian as well. He also had a problem with prayer. And he questioned prayer. I want to read the statement he made. And I want you to listen closely to what he said. If everything happens in accordance with the will of God, and his, that is God's decrees, stand fast. And nothing of what he, God, wills can be reversed. Then prayer is observed. Unquote. But I want to just repeat. See whether you understand this. Plan. If everything happens in accordance with the will of God, and his decrees stand fast, and nothing of what he wills can be reversed. Then he's trying to say that prayer is a silly act. It is unreasonable. It is ridiculous. It is absurd. He makes some sense. How do we respond to this man? Isaiah 38. I read from verse 1. Isaiah 38 from 1. In those days, Hezekiah became, that the king Hezekiah became ill and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to him and said, This is what the Lord says. Put your house in order. Because you are going to die. You will not recover. This is what the Lord says. So the prophet Isaiah is telling the king that this is what the Lord says. This sickness that you are sick of it will lead you to the grave. So because of his love for you, he asked me to come and tell you that put your house in order. If you don't have any will, king, just put something down. Because thou says the Lord, you will die, you will not recover. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember, Lord, say, how I, I have walked before you faithfully. Said with wholehearted devotion. And I've done what is good in your eyes. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Now this is the thing. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah. Go and tell Hezekiah. This is what the Lord, the God of your father David says. I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. I will add 15 years to your life. God decreed. Someone prayed. And God has changed his mind. So origin is saying that why if God decrees something, nobody can change. Then why should we pray? I'm saying that prayer 
is that kind of weapon that changes God's mind. Now, to prove that this is God changing his mouth, he moved on to make certain statements. I'll deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will defend this city. This is the Lord's sign to you that the Lord will do what he had promised. Because he said it and now he's relenting and he's changing what he has said. He says that give you a sign. He says that he can give you a sign. I will make the shadow cast by the sun go down the, the ten steps it had gone down on the stairway of Ahaz. So the sunlight went back the ten steps it had gone down. It is true that the decrees of God stands. It is also true that the prayer of the saints can cause God to reveal what he has decreed. The shadow has gone forward like that. He says that I'll cause the shadow to come back ten steps. The value of prayer none can measure. I want to call the church to prayer. And to pray Fervently in this time. As never before. Prayer is relevant. Prayer is relevant. The atheist may not pray. Because he doesn't believe in any God. But the deist. See, deism. Days for no. They believe in a God. Who created the earth, but our sins remain indifferent. He, he has created the earth, and then he has left it in the hands of mankind. But you see, that cannot be true. So to them, when you are praying, you are insulting God. That God, why, why? Are you lazy? Come and work. That is what they think. That when you are praying, you are insulting God. God has left us to do our own thing. And why are you calling God into the equation? It is this for us. We are born pia. 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 This is what Daniel said. This is the interpretation. Your majesty. Oh, And this is the decree the Most High has issued against my Lord the King. You will be driven away from people and will live with the wild animals. You will eat grass like the horse. And be drenched with the dews of heaven. Seven times will pass by for, for you until you acknowledge that the Most High is sovereign over all kingdoms on earth. And gives them to anyone he, he wishes. Now listen, this is the big one. The command to leave the stem of the tree with its roots means that 
your kingdom will be restored to you when you acknowledge that the heavens rule. Don't see no Adriani don't see no any nintino or simba won't you copem se ube hunu se o nyankupon e dihene na owo or ba o nipa abrabum. Until you acknowledge that heaven rules. Copem se ube hunu se or sro e di to me. Because he said, Your Majesty, this is the decree the Most High has issued against you. So the Most High is being referred here as heaven, and he rules in the affairs of men. So the day's idea on prayer. That prayer is just disturbing God and that it doesn't work. This scripture debunked that theory. And see, one now, yeah, this for now. One more dream, you say, yeah, bomb pie, how in your coupon, sign your me, same moon, same me, extra say, and you know, cray. God never created this earth and left it in the hands of man and went to sleep somewhere. God still rules in the affairs of men. And then when we call upon him, he will hear and he will answer and intervene in our lives. In this day of coronavirus, when we call upon him, he will hear and intervene. Sabreya or we are there. I have friend coronavirus. I to at this. Say, your friend or no, your mina or your me or bebem. He will do it again. Obey any bill when we call upon him. Say, your friend now. See, there is also the scientific worldview. And I have what one of my body moon and sape moon fish moon so one more journey. They say that God holds the universe through fixed and immutable natural laws. Onyame ede we are see ashishe wa shishe bibia pepepe ah on says on to me and says ano. Therefore, the general welfare of the universe. Said the bayer we are see ebeko yi. We are talking about seasons and times. Omo ka emre ede shishe yehuasem. Therefore, God cannot be reasonably expected to violate this laws just to give someone advantage. But it is reasonable. But prayer is one of such means that God uses to violate the laws. Nase ye First Kings chapter 17. I read verse 1. Now Elijah the Tishbite now, from Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, Na Sibni Elia ah it's it mini Elia of free Gilead and to both on the catcher I have said as the Lord the God of Israel lives say a rad is a coupon Midian and Mtiasi whom I say Midian and Mtiasi there will be neither dew nor rain in the next few years except at my words or both you and I said in so and talk in fear a woman in me just say so he is going to disturb the seasons and the immutable laws. Then the, the word of the Lord came to Elijah, leave here, turn eastward, hide in the Kirit Ravine, east of Jordan. So God was actually saying that what you have said is okay. Come here, I'm going to hide you. And the radar said, "Ban in chance if he had caught, not done in whole court a prayer. Now, Cohinta is your curator, and what you're done with him. Now, you're a person or chess at the Wakan, Masum, and the Branami Faun Cote. It's going to change the seasons. Obedane Emre, I was a share. The next chapter 18, verse 1 says this. Sawoko, it's a do or change Chemu Bakwan. 
after a long time, in the third year, three years, the word of the Lord came to Elijah. Go and present yourself to Ahab. And I will send rain on the land. So three years, seasons and times have been disrupted by the word of a prayer warrior. You see, James chapter 5 says James 5. This is a popular test, but I want you to pay close attention to it again. 17 and 18. Elijah was a human being. Even as we are, he prayed endlessly that it would not rain. So he is giving us the hint that he didn't just go to Ahab's palace and then utter some words. He was on his knees and he did that through prayer. So when he got to the king's palace, he just decreed what he has received in prayer. Because he prayed earnestly that it will not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. 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 He prayed. You see, going before Ahab, especially before the wife Jezebel, was a dangerous thing. And to tell him that it's not going to be rain, what do you mean? But you, see, you see, prayer and much prayer changes you and you change situations. The Bible says that, and again he prayed. And the heavens gave rain. And the earth produced crops. Prayer warriors like the Elijahs are needed. I remember one day when Elisha was coming back after Elijah had been cut up. Elisha, Esa Nechi Abano. With the mantle that has fallen from above. Na Gugusua, a free Osro, Abana, Wafasa Gugusua. At the banks of the Jordan River. Na Ogina, Jordan, Echi, Insiono, Echi. Which had flooded. Ah, a Yiri, Ding, Ding, Ding. Elisha took the cloak. Elisa, Efa, and Gugusua. And then shouted. Na Otim. When now? Eh, is the Lord God of Elijah. And na Elia, Nyankopon, Ewo. And then the Bible says he not the water with the mantle. Naturally say in or the ingugusonu a bo in Sionu. Just hit it with the mantle. Or the ingugusonu a bo in Sionu. And Jordan parted into two. And a Jordan a muchemienu. And he walked on dry land. Na of far Jordan muwa as a case. And all other prophets saw that hey. Na he did for a canoe who say he has taken the lead. Elisa, where did he But you see, he said, "Where now is the Lord God of Elijah?" Brothers, the Lord God of Elijah is not dead; he's alive. Maybe we have to frame the question again. Where now are the Elijahs of God? In the face of COVID-19. Where now are the Elijahs of God? People who will not fear Ahab. And will turn well situations around. By prayer. Where now are the Elijahs of God? Where now? 
prayer changes immutable laws. This one is a big one. I, I, if I leave it, I will not sleep tonight. Joshua chapter 10 verse 12. Joshua, it do. Joshua chapter 10 verse 12. Joshua chapter 10 verse 12. On the day the Lord gave the Amorites over to, to Israel. Joshua said to the Lord in the presence of Israel. Now he is saying to the Lord. He is petitioning God. Joshua prayed to the Lord. Joshua in the presence of Israel because there was a duty that had to be completed and the sun was setting they needed daylight to do justice to the enemies and Joshua said sun stand still king over Gibeon. Ewo Gibeon. And you moon. Ne Osramo. Over the valley of Ajalon. Ajalon bon hamu. So the sun stood still. And the moon stopped. Na Osrani jinai. Till the nation avenged itself on its enemies. Because he said, I don't know Tom what time for so rare. As it is written in the book of Joshua. Montre ye te for a woman. The sun stopped in the middle of the sky. Na Oria jina Osrum finfini. And delayed going down about a full day. Na ampel tem anko to beye damu. There has never been a day like it. Na e bi e maseda before or since. And sana a day when the Lord listened to a human being. E da onyanko ponti o oni pane. Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. If we say e rade e kon ama Israel. Because of course the sun is following a certain law. It is supposed to be immutable. But he says that that day, God listened to a human being and then stopped the sun. Obia, at the Shishaya and him Rabiachi, now Sai and Shishaya and Rani into me, Naneno, now so sad, Dani dear, and now Empire or boy in Tino, Obia Nujinai. Prayer is relevant. Empire, who here? And we need prayer. Now you hear Empire. We have to pray as individuals. As we have to pray as a family. As we have to pray as cell members. As we have to pray as friends. As we have to pray as church. As we as have sorry. to pray as Ghanaians. As we have as to pray as Christians. As as because prayer is relevant. As prayer works. There are certain people who think that what we call answer to prayer is just coincidence. This theory is called significant coincidence. This is another view of some people in respect to prayer. They will say it would have happened anyway. It isn't because you prayed. It isn't because you prayed. This is sheer coincidence. See, this thing is even having effect in the Christendom. We are becoming secular and we are becoming humanists. But this is what Archbishop William Temple said. I find that when I pray, coincidences happen. When I cease to pray, coincidences cease to happen. So even if it is only a coincidence, it is reasonable for me to continue to pray so that coincidences may continue to come. Brothers, let us pray. If they say it is coincidence, let us pray so that coincidences will continue to come. When we pray, something happens. 
When we pray, something happens. I want you to believe in your God and believe in prayer. So far as Jesus prayed, there should be something in prayer. So far as he taught us to pray and to fast, there should be something in prayer. I want to encourage you to pray. Don't mind these theories. We have a God. Let us receive what he has said. And act upon it in prayer. Spend all night in prayer. During the day, find time and pray. At dawn, pray. Please pray. Pray continually. In us. Chapter 12. The Bible says that Peter was arrested. And, that is, and they began to pray. You see, when they had killed James already, James Dada. Same person, Herod. Herod The Herods were wicked. Herod See, I, I, <laughs> I'm not surprised that Rhoda was praying and Rhoda was not believing and the others were also not believing. Because being delivered from the hand of Herod was like a mountain in front of the people. They never believed. But they prayed anyway. And God answered anyway. It was about this time that Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. He had James, the brother of John, put to death with a sword. The Bible says that he pleased the people. So verse 5 said that, so Peter was kept in prison. He went on ahead and arrested Peter and kept him in prison. But there is a but. But the church was endlessly praying to God for him. They were not just saying words. They were Talking to God on his behalf. That is what we mean by prayer. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up. He said, and the chain fell off Peter's wrist. Then the angel said to him, Put on your clothes and sandals. And Peter did so. Wrap his cloak around him. And he followed him. Okay, wrap your cloak around you and follow me. The, the angel told him Peter followed him out of the prison but he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening he thought he was seeing a vision see I want us to pray so that the things we see will be like visions they passed the first and the second gas came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened by itself. And they went through it. When they had walked the length of, of one street, suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, now I know without doubt 
that the Lord has sent his angel to rescue me from listen Herod's clutches and from everything the Jewish people were hoping would happen prayer changes things it changes situations it changes you and you can change things prayer the value of it none can measure it is, it is relevant then it is relevant today. May men of prayer arise. May women of prayer arise. Let us pray. And change situations. God be with us all.